the Doge RDA, a one-dimensional RDA. And what do I mean by one-dimensional? This thing is straight up for your cloud chasers. It's a one-trick pony. Flavor, flavor chasers, you're watching this, you flavor chasers? Uh-uh, don't even bother. It's made for the guys who want to build super sub-ohm builds. It's made for those guys that want to build 0.1-ohm builds. And even lower, you crazy cats. Crazy-ass cats! You guys that want to build 0 0.1, 0 0.2, maybe 0.3. But you know, anything higher than that, and it just, it just doesn't cut it for me. I don't get the flavor that I do off of some of these other devices. Yeah, so this is for your competition vapors. The guys guys want to go to these cloud chasing competitions and just win. Right now I've got a 0.25 ohm build in this doge. Got her wide open. I mean, she, airy, 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 you'll see. But I got her sitting on the Segeli 100 watt vapor at 50 watts. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, it's for your competition guys that are just extreme SOBs. Like I said, that is freaking wide open, all the way open, and it's like sucking air through a straw, a giant straw. I mean, it's it's flavorless. It's like vaping nothing. But to each is their own, and you know what? For the cloud chasing aspect of it, I give it a 10 out of a 10 because you see it, I mean, she's fogging it. Chuck certified. But that being said, I've given this bad boy a nickname, and that nickname is Dookie Doge. Not because it vapes like Dookie, but the quality control, the machining is just horrible, and you'll see it in the close-ups, scratches all over the uh, inside of the barrel, all over the AFC, you'll see it. It's just not good. <laughs> It's subpar, and for that reason, I'm gonna give this thing a 4.5 out of a 10. Average for me is six and a half out of a 10 for most of these other devices. There's corrosion on the outside of the negative post, and I run it through the same wash that I do all my other devices. This one just seemed, it just seemed to corrode more than the others. The positive post screw, it looks a little janky. It's not matchy-matchy with the other screws that came with it, and, and also it corroded. It's corroding inside there uh, in the middle of that screw. But like I said, it's just not matchy-matchy. I don't even think they meant to put that screw in there with mine maybe it's just the one that i own but still hell i received it i'm gonna review it for you i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like how it is etc let's go ahead and get into the pros first pro this thing is affordable 29 dollars 99 from the place i received this from but not only is this device affordable it's also accessible another pro the airflow you get with this device like i said 11 millimeter slots on each side. You can run it in dual coil or single coil. And with that dual coil or quad coil mode, you have those 11 millimeter slots. It's tons and tons of airflow. It's it's equivalent to, I would say it's even more airy than the little boy, the little boy RDA. And that thing was airy. I mean, this thing is more airy with a regular drip tip. Crazy, crazy. So because of that, I definitely give it a pro. The more airflow you got, the more clouds you're gonna produce, especially if you build it correctly. This RDA has a copper pin at the 510 connection and an adjustable copper pin, so you can adjust it to make connection on all your mods. It is a 22 millimeter RDA, so it fits and fits flush down on any mechanical mod. Every mechanical mod that I've used or owned, it fits down flush, makes a connection, booyah. It's got a heat sink top cap, eight fins, eight fins, and I'll tell you what, like I said, I've been building this thing around between 0.2 and 0.25 ohms, vape, 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 chain vape, and this thing does not get scorching hot. I mean, that top cap, I could tell it keeps it cooler longer. It's got a three post design on the deck and the post holes are definitely large enough for your lower gauge wire. Your positive post hole is two millimeters in diameter and then your two negative post holes are 1.5 millimeters in diameter. I have definitely been able to use a thicker gauge wire like the 24 gauge, the 22 gauge, and even the 20 gauge. Every drip tip that I use or own has fit, has fit snug as a bug. So yeah, the only real con that I could find for this device is the freaking quality control and the machining. It, I mean, there's marks all over this thing, but you know what? This is only $29.99. Again, though, there's other devices out there, same price point, that have immaculate or close to immaculate machining way better than this. And I'm not going to mention this last thing as being a con, just because the designer of this product, they didn't market this as being a flavor chasing Addy, they marketed this as being a cloud chasing Addy. So for you flavor chasers out there watching, this device is most likely not for you. Not unless you just want to take the night off from your flavor fetish and you just want to chuck the cloud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, you know, other than that, you probably won't like it. So those are the pros and the cons. Let's go ahead and dive down. I'm going to show you this thing close up, and we're going to come back, wrap it up, and I'll tell you where you can get one or where I received it from. Here's the box that comes in. Slides out just like that. Pop her open, and there's your RDA, your Doge or Doge RDA, and then you've got extras, extra goodies. 
extra o-ring, screwdriver, a positive pin, some extra screws. So here's the Doge or the Doge RDA. You've got the deck, you've got the outer barrel slash AFC, and then you've got the top cap slash inner barrel slash AFC. And then here's the deck for the old Doge or the Doge. Okay, there is the drip well, average size drip well, not super deep, not super shallow, but about average. Post holes, the center post hole is two millimeters, and then the two negative post holes are about 1.5 millimeters. And as you guys can see, the negative posts are milled into the deck. Phillips head screws to tighten down to make connection with all your leads. And that center screw looks a little different. As you guys can see, inside there in the middle of that screw, there is a little corrosion. A little bit of corrosion on the outside of these negative posts and that's just from me washing it that all depends on your tap water how harsh your tap water is a little corrosion won't hurt anybody uh, it just shows the quality of the materials used two o-rings at the lip and then the base wow <laughs> serial number 42 my serial number 42 and then it's got an adjustable copper pin 510 threads like I mentioned in FaceTime, fits on all my devices. And then here is the outer barrel slash AFC. And look at those huge slots, man. I mean, 11 millimeters wide. 11 millimeters wide. Massive. Here's the inside of the barrel, the outer barrel. A few scuffs there. You see that? Yeah, some scratches there. And then here is the top cap slash inner barrel slash AFC. You got these eight fins up top to keep the device cooler. And then you got this single O-ring to fasten in on the uh, outer barrel. And you got these slots, these massive slots, two parallel for your dual or quad cool mode. Like I said, 11 millimeters wide, massive. And then you've got one perpendicular, one smaller slot that is uh, for your single coilers. The inside, you've got that conical type design to intensify the flavor. And like uh, the outer barrel, there are some scuffs, some scratches, as you guys can see. See? Yeah, scratches all over this thing, man. Drip tip hole, like I mentioned in FaceTime, all my drip tips are compatible. So how the AFC works is outer barrel slides onto the inner barrel slash top cap, like so. And then you line up these two slots on the outer barrel with the two slots on the inner barrel. And then to adjust, you just twist. Easy peasy, what a sleazy. Wide open, closer off, closer off, closer off. But here's the thing. You close her off to a certain extent and it starts to run into the single slot. Turn this outer barrel to the left and we're in single coil mode. As you guys can see, right across parallel, it's blocked off. That means you're in single coil mode and you can close her off a little bit. You can't go all the way without running into these other air holes and that's uh, that's probably the biggest problem. That's why I think uh, this thing in single coil mode, you know, it's made for your dual and your quad coil modes. That's what this device is made for. But they have the option to run in single coil mode. Thing is, you can't really close it off, okay? Pop your preferred drip tip in this bad boy, and pie yow. So that is the Doge RDA. I received this device from a company called Vapor DNA. Vapor DNA, here's their link. I'll have a link in the description as well. And the big question is, if Vapor DNA hadn't sent this, sent this to me to review for you guys, would I have purchased it? And the answer is yes, probably. And it's because this thing is affordable, it's accessible. So yeah, I probably would have purchased it. But do I think this is worth it? You know, after seeing this, no, I don't think it's worth it. Because of the quality control, the craftsmanship, the machining, it's just, it's just not up to par. I mean, it's subpar. It's not even average in my opinion not compared to the other devices out there that i've recently reviewed this is rip trippers and remember smoking is dead vaping is the future and the future is now